Hey guys, it's Prayer from PD Tech HD, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing Apple's brand new iPod Touch 5th generation 2012 model. So, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's take off this sleeve. And you can see that I did indeed go for the blue one, as some of you predicted. Um, this is the 32 gig model as well. Um, it's also available in 64 gig for an extra £100 I think, I believe so. So let's just open it, so take off this sleeve, this uh, sticker kind of thing. And we should be ready to open. Okay, so to take it out from here, you just lift it out, and then basically this is the iPod Touch. So taking it out of here, you just have to, let's see, uh, pull down on this bit a bit. And that should be enough to pull it out, yeah and then take it off. Okay, so here's the iPod Touch itself. Um, I did get this one engraved, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna focus, but happy 21st birthday, Prav, good luck for the future, mom. This was a birthday present, um, belated birthday present. But anyway, while we're at the back, let's take a look. So you've got a five megapixel camera here with flash. Um, this is the first iPod Touch with a camera with flash. I mean, uh, the other one did have a camera, but it didn't have flash. And this camera is actually uh, pretty good from what I've seen on other people's videos. Um, this is like the Wi-Fi antenna. It's obviously got Apple's logo and iPod there. And this this button here is for the um, wrist strap, so it does sort of retract, as you can see, as you press it in. So it does come flush with the device. Um, I'll show you the loop strap in a bit, and I'll show you a closer look at the iPod as well. But let's just peel into this. So you get a bunch of paperwork here. So hello, sort of like a quick start guide telling you how to get up and running, um, stuff like that. You've got it in different languages, warranty information, stuff like that, and of course, Apple stickers. So let's all put that to the one side and see what else we get in the box. So there's quite a few cables. Um, let's see. So this is the wrist strap that I was talking about before. So this basically, you just press this in. Uh, hang on. Okay, press it in and then line it up a bit with the round and lock it into place and you can let it hang and you know you can put it on your wrist and makes it easy for convenient for like carrying it and uh, taking it out and about and stuff like that and then to take it out just sort of line it up with the circle and sort of if we can take it off okay and then push this back in all right and then also you've obviously got the new lightning cable so this is the lightning end it is reversible let's give you a close-up of that if the camera wants to focus yeah there you go and obviously it is reversible so it goes in either way and this is the usb part that will go into your computer um, there's no wall charger included with the ipod touch so you have to charge it with a computer or unless you buy the separate wall charger and then plug this in but let's just put all that to the side and then obviously you've got the new ear pods so they come they're not as nicely packaged as like with the iPhone or if you buy them separately, but you can still um, access them. So to take it out, you just lift this up and you can see they're sort of like wrapped around in here. So let's just take it out. And so you can actually use this as like a convenient carrying case for them, which is quite cool of Apple to include. Um, okay, so these are the earpods. They've obviously got different like vents um, and obviously these do provide some bass that people are saying and you've uh, Let me see. Oh, you haven't got the remote anymore That's interesting. There's no more remote like for controlling it um, Like for skipping tracks and stuff like that. There's no remote. That's quite interesting I'm not sure if the iPhone one does have it But the iPod touch one as you can see it doesn't have a remote on the controls Which is quite bad in a way because I actually like the re remote feature um, So yeah, let's just put all that to the side and take a closer look at the iPod Touch itself. So let's peel off this screen protector. Okay, and let's give it a minute to boot, so hold down the power button. All right, and while this is booting up, let's just talk through some of the features. So at the front, you have got a FaceTime HD camera, and this camera is capable of recording 720p video footage at 30 frames. You've obviously got the home button at the bottom. Along the left-hand side, you've got two volume up and down buttons. Um, on the right hand side you've got nothing, it's just plain. At the top you've obviously got the sleep wake button. At the bottom, headphone jack, new lightning connector and speaker grill. 
and I've already showed you the back but again the wrist strap and the 5 megapixel camera with flash and the Wi-Fi antenna. So initial impressions of the iPod Touch, it feels really good in the hand, very lightweight. Um, if I get my third gen, okay so third gen on the right and fifth gen on the left. So you can obviously see the size difference, so this is a 4 inch and this is now retina display. Um, the fourth gen also had a retina display but this is the exact same display as the iPhone 5, 1136 by 640 pixels. IPS retina display 4 inches as I said. Um, so yeah, initial impressions, it feels a light, lot lighter than the third gen. Um, obviously they've got, they've got rid of the like um, shiny aluminium and gone with the brushed aluminium. So I think it will work a lot better. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more coverage on the iPod Touch guys. Um, I will be doing a few, a few app reviews and um, comparison with the third gen. Like if you want a full comparison with the third gen, then um, let me know by liking the video or leaving a comment because the thing is for me, like if you've got a fourth gen, then there's no real reason to upgrade. But obviously from a third gen, there's a big reason. And the main reason would obviously be the retina display and the camera because this one has neither the third gen. So um, I will be doing a full comparison with that if you guys want that. So again, leave a like uh, rating or a comment if you want that. And um, please be sure to like it if you did enjoy it otherwise anyway. Um, stay tuned for more coverage on the iPod Touch. Be sure to subscribe for that. And um, thank you for watching, guys. Really do appreciate the support. So let's just see. Let's just go through the setup. And it will probably be the same sort of iOS 6 setup. So I'm not going to go through that. But you can get a quick look at the display here. So this is really clear. Let's bring it a bit closer to camera. So yeah, so this is the exact same display as the iPhone 5. So it's obviously very high resolution. Um, for those of you quickly sort of wondering why... I went with an iPod Touch when I'm such a big Android fan. Well, it allows me to experience iOS without getting tied into a data plan, which is the main reason for anyone to really buy this, apart from if you really want to use it for games, uh, for music and stuff like that. Like the iPod is um, App Store. I, I will admit that the App Store is a lot better than on Android. So this allows me a chance to experience iOS, still keep up to date with it without like getting the phone version, if that makes sense. Um, one other thing I want to point out is that I should have got this on Monday. Uh, which is the 15th, but I didn't get it till Friday, so the 19th, and Apple did compensate me for that. They gave me 60 quid refund, so that was quite good of them, and I'm really happy with the customer service. It was UPS's fault, and they didn't really do anything about it. Hope you enjoyed the video overall. Please give it a like rating. Leave me a comment saying what you thought about the 5th Gen iPod Touch. Stay tuned for more coverage on it, and um, please, be check out, please be sure to check out the last video, which was the Galaxy Note 2 first look. Uh, which will be on your screens now, so just click that annotation and that will take you straight there. And thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, bye.